If y'all saw where I was on the bottom. Mm, that's right. Started from the bottom. Having to be kidnapped from my home as a 15-year-old child to be lodged in the belly of the beast. I was gifted to turn that experience into the womb of America. Some great news coming out of New York City. Youssef Salam, who's an exonerated member of what's been known as the Central Park Five, just won a Democratic seat on the city council in central Harlem. Now, Salam is one of the group of teenagers who was wrongfully convicted and imprisoned for the rape of a woman in Central Park in 1989. Now, you might remember the story as it came into the news more recently because Trump paid for a full page ad in four major newspapers calling for his death. Bring back the death penalty, bring back our police. And obviously, these men were exonerated, but Trump still refuses to apologize to this very day. Will you apologize to the Central Park Five? They've been exonerated. There have been videos and movies shown about the case. And you came out with a full page ad saying that they should die. They say the death penalty. Why do you bring that question up now? It's an interesting time to bring it up. Uh, you have people on both sides of that. They admitted their guilt. If you look at Linda Fairstein and if you look at some of the prosecutors, uh, they think that the city should never have settled that case. So we'll leave it at that. Trump is referring to forced confessions of these teenage boys, which were later proven to be false by DNA evidence. but. Here's just a little bit of a refresher on the now infamous case. So we have a photo of the uh, five boys at the time when this happened. The Central Park Five uh, were Kevin Richardson, who was 14, Raymond Santana, who's also 14, Antron McRae and Yusuf Salam, who were both 15, and then 16-year-old Corey Wise. Now from BBC News, the five boys were interrogated for at least seven hours without their parents about the rape of jogger Trisha Mealy before four made videotaped confessions to detectives. As the DNA evidence from semen found at the scene didn't match any of the five boys, prosecutors relied solely on the initial interrogations. In a 2016 interview with The Guardian, Salam said, I would hear them beating up Corey Wise in the next room. Then they would come back and look at me and say, you realize you're next. The fear made me feel really like I was not going to be able to make it out. Now, all of the five boys spent between seven and 13 years in prison until they were exonerated in 2002. A convicted murderer and rapist later admitted to the crime and the DNA evidence proved that. Now leading up to his race for city council, Salam spoke to MSNBC about how he was able to stay positive while in prison. I don't mean to walk you through the painful time in your life, but I think it's instructive to where you're coming from as, as you run for office. And can you just speak to what it was like to be sitting in prison for something you absolutely knew you did not do. You know, the biggest challenge of being in prison for a crime you didn't commit is that you constantly have thoughts. Well, maybe I should just become this. Mm. You know, maybe I should turn into the monster that they're talking about. And of course, the challenge is you're the ingredient that they're trying to get to accept a definition of yourself that you weren't born with. You were born on purpose and with a purpose. You have to constantly remind yourself every single day. You know, the greats have said things like, if you can't see it, you can't be it. And so in your mind's eye, you have to hold the most positive of thoughts so that wherever your mind goes, your body follows. Now, Yusuf Salam used a defamatory ad that Donald Trump took out against him as an advertisement for his campaign. So we can see that post here from his Twitter. He wrote, over 30 years ago, Donald Trump took out a full page ads calling for my execution. On the day he was arrested and arraigned, here is my ad in response. It says, bring back justice and fairness, build a brighter future for Harlem. And let's just in part the ad reads, now that you have been indicted and are facing criminal charges, I do not resort to hatred, bias, or racism as you once did. Even though 34 years ago, you effectively called for my death and the death of four other innocent children, I wish you no harm. Rather, I am putting my faith in the judicial system to seek out the truth. I hope that you exercise your civil liberties to the fullest and that you get what 
the exonerated five did not get a presumption of innocence and a fair trial. And if the charges are proven and you are found guilty, I hope that you endure whatever penalties are imposed with the same strength and dignity that the exonerated five showed as we served our punishment for a crime we did not commit. Now, Salam ran for city council on a platform of public safety and affordable housing. Jeff, this is a really good story. And honestly, he <laughs> has all of the grace in the world that I, I can't imagine is very easy to put forward, especially after, I mean, the heinous uh, you know, civil rights abuse that happened to him that he had to endure for years. Yeah, he's written a book called Better Not Bitter, Living on Purpose in the Pursuit of Racial Justice. And if anybody reserves the right to be bitter in this country, it's him and his very close four friends. Look, you brought this up earlier and good job out of you, Ray, uh, as always. The person who actually committed the uh, Central Park jogger case, the rape in that case, admitted to what he did. So it's very convenient for Trump when he was responding in 2019 to say that other people, you know, there's other sides or different sides or two sides to this story. No, there's there's really one. The person who did it said they did it, they admitted to it. So that should be the end of it right there. But he won't apologize. He will never apologize for what he did because, as we've seen earlier today, he's never wrong. What he says and his words are good, and he's a legit person. So Good job out of any of the Central Park Five for doing anything wonderful and positive, such as what we're seeing here. Hopefully, this opens up a lot more for them moving in the future. Exactly, and congratulations to him on winning his his campaign. And I'm sure that he will live up to the promises he ran on. He's really, I mean, genuinely an amazing person to have endured Absolutely. what he endured, and just to be able to put that positivity out in the world. Something that I, as a person who hasn't struggled with much of anything, still struggle to do every single day. So 